Hello and welcome to this tutorial number seven. In this tutorial, we are going to look at how to add contrast to the form and also how to add or how to make a form appear as a pop up. Remember, in this case, the form still remains an, as an object in the database, but when you are like making it to appear, it appears quite as a an independent object. And now let's take a look at how we can do that. Now here is our previous form that we created for Light Academy. We already had a table created in this form in this uh, database and we also had a form created in this database. Those are the two objects that we have. But now our main interest is how to add the contrast to this form and Remember, I told you that before you add anything to the form or anything that you add to the form has to be added from what we call the design view. So we take our form to design view and that's how it appears. So we are going to other controls that we are talking about. Uh, in the first place, I will just go and minimize this form to a very small area like that. And then I go ahead and pick the controls. Now the controls you're going to have Find all these are called controls, but I want us to add buttons specifically. Now let's start uh, picking buttons to add to our form and see how our form will appear. So we pick a button, we come and draw it down here. When you draw that button, a command wizard is going to appear. This wizard here contains several categories and each category having various actions that can be assigned to this button. For instance, we have the record navigation. This one means the button is going to be used to navigate through the records in your table. Then we have what we call the record operation to work on the records. For instance, adding a new record, deleting a record. We have what we call the form operations. For instance, closing a form, opening a form. We have the report operations. Now this one goes to the reports. We have the application and miscellaneous. Now let's look at how to add actions to these commands. For instance, let's, look, let's start by looking at the navigation or the record navigation category and then its actions. Well, supposing we wanted to make this button here be a button to take us to the previous record we come and select previous previous go to previous record then we click next now here we give this one it's just going to be a text and in that case we shall just call it previous previous then we go to next and the command is going to be previous still but even if you don't put that there anyway there is nothing that can change so we finish and there our command button is so we go and pick another button maybe for uh, from another category so we go and draw it as well and uh, maybe let's say this is going to be a record operation or oh, let's first take it maybe to a record navigation and maybe assign it to go to the next button so we come to next it's going to be a text here and I'm just going to call it next that implies it's taking us to the next record and then the command is simply next and then I finish then I pick another record I mean another button and I want this one to do another job maybe let's say it's a record operation record operation uh, it's for maybe uh, uh, to for adding a new record so we click uh, on that then I'm just going to call it new to represent the word add new record next it's still new and then I finish so that's that command there then I want to add another another button uh, so I draw it there like that maybe this one is going to be a form operation then I choose maybe close form then go to next 
uh, I'll just call it close. I'll call it close. Go to next, close, and then finish. So those are four buttons that have been added, and each button is in a different category. I mean, we wanted to see how they work. Then the last thing we looked at, we said we are going to also make this form appear as a pop-up object. And uh, how do we do this? We go to property sheet. Property sheet, we want uh, to work on the form. So we click in the form. Remember when you click on any of the objects on the form, it brings the the commands for that particular object. But now we click on the form and we come and choose all the commands from the form and then we come and look for the word for the word pop up i come and choose option yes that implies we are going to make it appear as a pop up then i go to view when i go to view my form that's now how the form appears now we want to see whether these buttons we've added are actually working so we come to next you can see that we've gone to the next this is record two of nine next record three next record four previous record three previous record two new it brings a blank form which is record 10 of 10 remember we had nine records previously then when i go to close it prompts me to save the changes made on the form. Then I save. And there my form closes. That means our buttons are working very well. When I open this form, it now opens as a pop-up. This is what we call the pop-up. And that brings us to the end of this tutorial. Our objectives have been achieved. Thanks for watching. And let's wait for the next tutorial. Now, just before we leave it uh, before we go off the same can be done to a report and that's how we add the buttons to a form or a report thanks for watching